Hi guys, welcome to Tube Central. I am Isha. In this video, I will show you the basic build building blocks of Angular 2. So it's very important to understand the uh, architecture of a framework so that you can build the application top of that very easily. Because some of the framework uh, capabilities will be hidden if you didn't understand the architecture. So I thought to give a brief introduction to this architecture of the uh, Angular application so that you can understand and learn this uh, angular course uh, very easily so first of all uh, if you check the angular io angular guide uh, under the architecture section you can see that there is a full article about the angular architecture so i will go through this diagram and show you uh, what are the basics and i will give a brief introduction about these uh, components so that you can understand and build if you check this diagram you can see there are several building blocks that are integrated together to build an application so there are eight uh, main building blocks that can be used to build an angular application some of these building blocks are not important to build an application but um, if you build a large application this will really help you to manage your code okay now we see what are these building blocks first one is components Components is one of the required block of Angular app. An application should have at least one component. Components are used to specify the application logic. If you check our seed project which we did in previous video, you can see we have created the TypeScript file called app.component. This is the root component of our application. So as I said, uh, at least one component should be in your application. Second one is templates. Templates are used by components to render the output to the browser. Angular templates are plain HTML with or without Angular syntax. We specified a template to our component in our seed project. In our app.component.ts file, you can see we have specified the template here. So you can see it is plain HTML. Depending on your business requirement, you can specify this HTML in a separate HTML file and link to it here. I will do a separate video on components. In that, I will show you how to do that. Next building block is modules. Angular modules are a bit hard to understand at the beginning. But once you get used to Angular, you will see it's very easy to develop with Angular modules. It because Angular modules are used to separate our application logic. At the moment, uh, understand it as uh, it used by our application to manage our feature areas. So we can focus in a single feature area at a time and develop on that. We have created a Angular module in our seed project. Here you can see we have created a, a module called app.module. Um, we need at least one root module to an application without a module we can't build a application so it's a required building block since this angular modules are a bit hard to understand at the beginning i will do a separate video on this topic in later video series our next building block is directives directives are similar to component but those are used by component templates to structure the dom for example, if you need to loop through an array of objects, you can use ng4 directive. If you need to conditionally show a text box, you can use ng if direct. There are several directives inbuilt to Angular. ng4 and ng if are Angular provided directive. If we need, we can build our own directive to use in our application. Next block is metadata. Metadata tells Angular to how to process a TypeScript class. For example, when we create a component, we should tell Angular this is a component. Similarly, we, when we create a directive, we should tell Angular this is a directive. Otherwise, it's a simple type class. Angular compiler does not know without pro uh, providing metadata. To provide metadata for Angular, we can use decorators. Decorators used to tell Angular how to process a class. In our app.component, you can see we have specified a decorator. Here you can see we have specified the at component decorator. So Angular compile knows this class is a component. So we have imported this uh, decorator uh, from at Angular slash co library. There are few decorators provided by Angular. 
if you go to angular.io then click docs then you can see api references here you can select decorators here you can see there are more than uh, 10 decorators if you click one of this decorator you will see more details about these decorators you it will show you how to use this decorator and it will list down all the metadata properties so i will do a separate video in this decorators and in that video i will explain each of these uh, metadata properties and how to use these properties next one is data binding data binding is used by component and component templates to communicate for example when user type first name we can simply bind that first name to our model property in other words when user did a change in somewhere in template it will automatically detect by our component or when our model change internally in our component we can automatically reflect that change in our template angular achieves this feature using property binding and event binding in future videos you will see we are using event binding and property binding in your application if you are coming from jquery and javascript uh, experience you can you know to get a property and set a property you have to manually do it by our hand so in angular we can use data binding for that purpose next one is services services are used by application to separate our business logic it's not important to have service in application but it's very easy to when we are building large scale applications for example if we need to fetch data from server you can do it in a service it's not important to do it in a service you can do it in a component class itself but it's good practice to maintain the business logic in a separate class services are simply types of class with methods and properties consumed by components next one is injector or i would say dependency injection dependency injection is used by uh, components to inject services when we created a service we have to specify this service is injectable using injectable decorator then angular 2 will add these injectable services to its container big advantage of angular 2 is it has inbuilt dependency injection in next video series i will show you how to inject a service to a component ok guys i have covered all basic uh, building blocks of our angular application i hope this helps you to understand the building blocks of angular 2 if you like this video please press like button please comment and share this video with your friends and community and support me by subscribing to my channel thank you very much